Hi guys, good morning. I'm hoping you guys are seeing this on Wednesday, depending on how much we can get done here. So um, we are moving on with uh, this Bear Magoon sign. And uh, you, the last thing you guys saw is me doing the lettering. I'll get to the, the background on that lettering here pretty quick. But uh, let's look at the layout. Now the layout that I did looked really good, but there are there were a bunch of lines that I had to kind of draw in. I just don't like any guessing about where the lines are. So I just I have a really fat uh, ballpoint pen that writes uh, really heavy and it works really good for filling in those lines. It's just it's fine enough that it that it writes fine and it doesn't bleed but it's um, heavy enough that it makes a nice solid line for me to find to uh, to find to uh, to follow anyway so um, get yourself some good really heavy for things like this I'm really heavy b a writing ballpoint pen that's actually my favorite pen to even write with okay so we have got the um, carving liner bit in and I've got the artwork right next to me in case I have any uh, questions on it. Let's stop talking and get to carving. I've got the bit set, I think, a little too deep right now. Back that off a little bit. I think that, that is going to be somewhere around an eighth. Uh, yeah, that's set right at about an eighth. Okay, here we go. I might have to adjust it as I go. I'll let you know if I do.
right guys well Vicky just reminded me that I'm breaking my own rule I just got it kind of got into it and just kept going with that carving liner which a lot of these lines I could have really done with the profile bit and I've always been adamant that only use the carving liner when you absolutely have to and there are some of these I obviously did not have to use some stuff like you know really detailed here and um, even the fishing rod, some stuff that, yeah, it made sense to use a carving liner, but there's a lot that uh, I obviously could have done with the profile bit. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I am gonna kinda do these feet with uh, the carving liner, get those done, and then I'm gonna switch over to the profile bit. Anyway, just wanted to uh, let you know, I just kinda got out of hand there, but fortunately, Vicki uh, straightened me out. So let's move on. Okay guys, so that's all I'm gonna do with the, uh, the carving liner for now. I am gonna come right back and we'll start using the profile bit. So there I was, uh, I think it was a little over an eighth. Yeah, it was just slightly over an eighth of an inch deep, which seemed about right. I had to lift it a few places so I wouldn't go quite as wide. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set deeper and I'm gonna go all the way around, not the internal cuts, but all the way around and just to give everything a little bit bigger border all the way around.
Okay guys, let's, uh, I'm just kind of reviewing that, making sure that all my lines are deep enough. And I still haven't really decided whether I want to do a fat line. Normally when I do something like this, I'll go around everything with the, the 90 or the 60 to make a big fat line. Still haven't decided whether I want to leave it that way or make a fatter line. Generally I err on the side of making a fatter line because it, it makes it stand out that much more. Haven't really decided, but... Um, First things first is I'm going to carve that other bear, do exactly what I did here. I'll do that off camera, and then we'll come back and move on to the next step. All right, folks, so we are, uh, t it's time to uh, use the background bit. I'm going to use the 90 degree bit, do the background around the letters, and then I've decided to go ahead and put a big heavy line around the bears. All the detail work is done. Uh, really happy with it so far. So I'm going to do a background again around the letters here first and then I'll uh, move over to this bear and do a fat line all the way around the bear. Alright. Don't need Bears. Yes. Here we go. folks for those of you that say I never get sawdust on me all right this uh, settles it <laughs> anyway that is uh, yeah I'm happy with that I think that's what we're gonna go with so we are out of time we've been going uh, I think we're you know pushing 20 to 30 minutes right now so that is it for today I'm gonna finish up do exactly what I did on this bear over here on this one. 
And then when we come back on the next video, which you guys will see hopefully Monday, then, um, then we're going to get the edges done. We're going to get this thing finished up get a finish on it, start the painting process. So, as always, if you guys have any questions, please email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. If you need any supplies, there's the website. If, um, if I can do anything for you on Instagram, on Make a Wood Sign on Instagram, and we would love it for you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and give us a thumbs up, and be sure and click that little bell icon so you get notified when we do videos every day. So, anyway guys, uh, I think it's time for me to get, some, get rid of some of this. So, uh, anyway, had fun with it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.